went out for a drive and I decided to go back down by born in the fucking radiated fucking corrupt USA. So net neutrality, net neutrality, we got a fucking giant fucking wind. And I want to say this about fucking Springsteen. What a fucking sellout. He's in court today on his DUI charge, which is bullshit, total bullshit. What he should be charged with, the crime that he committed. I got a podcast with Barack Obama. Yay, that piece of fuck. Think about it. He's supposedly no nukers. I want you to think about it. No nukers. Barack Obama, the guy who covered up Fukushima, the fucking heart. Only one guy covered up Fukushima more than Barack Obama. Donald J. Trump. Why don't you go fucking hang out with him, Bruce? I thought you were a fucking phony fucker. That's what the crime you should be charged with. Disgusting. Oh, I got a Jeep out of the Super Bowl. Fucking ain't fucking selling for Pepsi. Ain't selling for fucking Coke. You're a fucking joke. You fucking sold this down the fucking river. Fucking piece of shit. Fucking now oh, whores. Sell out fucking whores. So, on top, net neutrality, net neutrality. Everybody's like, those beautiful, incredible productions you used to do. I used to put so much work with my tripod and my flip can. I mean, hours into those fucking movies. Why well, ain't do them anymore? What's the fucking point? That's why I hate fucking Trump so bad. I fucking hate him as bad as Obama. They cover up Fukushima. What he did to the world. He killed net neutrality. Nobody got attacked and fucking no, nobody on earth got squashed down more because of the net neutrality than Kevin Blanche. Why? Now stay with me. Nobody. Nobody. Donald J. Trump and his fucking teabagger congressman. We got a victory yesterday. California. Shot it down. Net throttling, fuck net choking. So people don't know this. That it's, you know, I try telling Dana this. I mean, you can fucking spin, you can change your rhetoric, you can change everything you want. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. My rhetoric could never fucking change. My incredible activist, look, in the early days of YouTube, I knew on the information of Fukushima, I knew that it couldn't be, oh, yeah, let's go to Helen Caldecott now. Let's go to Chris Busby, those phony rats. It had to be different. I know that I knew that net neutrality was based on retention. So I developed this fucking art form, which I think is probably the most powerful fucking art form, communications-wise, maybe one of them in the history of art. It's that powerful. Kevin Blanche developed it. I mean, I held... That came to me one time when YouTube came to me and said that my YouTube site was one of the top ten on the face of the earth for retention. So, the Fukushima dynamic had to be told. So, you used to Google Fukushima, Fukushima, fucking meltdowns. On the sidebar, 9 of 10 would be Kevin Blanche. You might have one CNN. You might have one. Think of who I'm competing with. Multi-billion dollar corporations. And I got no money and I'm full of cancer. Think about this. Think about this, what I was able to accomplish, the art form. Flipping the soup can, fuck the intense, uh, fuck, it was, I look back on it, incredible, amazing. So, not only do they not, well, they can just put the brakes on you. It's much deeper than that. It's pay to play. They can place their ad content over you. Well, who has more money than Nuclear Energy Crime Syndicate? Their PR firms, the biggest PR firms on the face. That, well, I traced them right down, fucking at them all. Why well, in critical condition? Not just that. They slander, they attack physically, so... I want people to understand under the fucking, what happened in 2017, the whole fucking rule. You think that's a coincidence? My site went, people like Dutch Census, people that denied Fukushima. Because not only is it pay to promote, they promoted those guys. The, inter, the nuclear industry, you could pay to promote anybody you want. And how's that work? To the sidebar. So this is the video that we're putting up next for you. I mean, I go back to that before that. Look at that typo video. What's it got? You know, it's not even one, not even one of my top thousand best videos, typo videos. But yet it's got 115,000 views because that's the way it works if it gets pushed in there. But stay with me. A lot of people don't understand that they can not only pay to promote sites, place them above you, place them whatever, they can pay to fucking go after anyone, to block content, 
Oh, I know for a fact because I'm good friends with the fucking big, big wig at the IT department at fucking Weaver Powerhouse fucking IT department. He says, even Weber State did it to you, Kevin. You know, because of the video. They could pay to shadow ban you. They could pay to fucking choke you. The nuclear industry did it. That's what they did. Think about it. The greatest fucking story in human history is the Fukushima. And by the way, you think about the dynamic of it. Kevin Blanche gets fucking cancer. And I'm going to do some videos on Ferlinghetti. You know, it's important stuff. But I want to get this up. Fucking Springsteen. Springsteen should be answering to the fucking court of public opinion why he turned out to be such a sellout fucking whore. Why did he turn out to be such a sellout fucking whore? He promised me to fucking mention Fukushima at the concert. He dropped Fukushima banner, right? You know, I was in fucking Central Park. I was in Prospect Park. I mean, I have the fucking shirt. You know, had a wife and kid in Ogden, Utah, Jack. I went up for a drive. And decided, he sold us down the fucking river. Fucking. He shouldn't be. That fucking DUI charge is bullshit. He should be charged. I got a podcast with Barry Antoinette, the most pro-nuclear person on the in the history of mankind, until came Trump. Think about this. I want you to think about this. These sellout fucking whores. And we used to all love him, right? That's what they do to us. They betray us. He's on Geffen Jot. He's got a Broadway fucking play. He's me. He's got a podcast with the fucking biggest, one of the greatest fucking killers in human history. Mary Antoinette Obama and his identical twin, Donald fucking scumbag Trump. Fukushima is the greatest event. I'm a butcher. What's a cow? I'm a musician. What's a fucking guitar? I'm a fucking butcher. What's a cow? I'm a baker. What's a fucking cake? I'm a fucking human rights activist. I'm an environmentalist. I'm out in the street. Fucking greatest street activist of the fucking whole generation right here. Look what they did to me. Look what they fucking did to me. I'm an anti-nuclear activist. I'm going to go meet with the guy who covered up the greatest event. I'm an environmentalist. I'm a fucking NGO. I'm a nonprofit. I'm a green washing machine, green PCR club. What's Fukushima? This is important stuff. That's what they did to me. That's the person telling you the fucking truth and telling you the fucking tell. I mean, I've had so many people come to me. Kevin, you say my... Just think about this, too. I mean, for years, so many... AML leukemia victims were watching this. I've had people send me cards and letters. I remember a woman, she says, I would have never did the transplant. She says, I would have never went through the treatment. But you gave me so much inspiration. I watched your fight and watched you thing. And I'm alive and I, I started to cry when she wrote me this letter. I got to break it out. She says, I see with your grandson. She says, I'm here with my grandchildren. I'm with my grandson playing right now because of you, because I wasn't going to do it. I wasn't going to do it. That's what they did. That's what they fucking did. So California has ruled, fuck you. No more pay to play. So they don't over just pay to play. So they can actually pay to attack. And the Department of Energy, my own government, did it to me. That's why I hate fucking, and your lord and savior, Donald J. Trump's so fucking bad. He covered up Fukushima even more than fucking Barry Antoinette Obama. <laughs> Bruce, the court of fucking public opinion, your Jeep ad ain't singing for Pepsi. Ain't singing for Coke. You're all a bunch of fucking jokes. Stay in tune.